I am Anil Kumar and in this series of dividing fractions we are going to use three different strategies. Let's look into this question. How to divide whole number by fractions? So we have two examples here. 2 divided by 1 over 3 and 3 divided by 1 over 4. The three strategies which we are going to use are one we call as area model. The second strategy is common denominator. And the third one is reciprocal. So when you do reciprocal or division, you can multiply. So let me write this as reciprocal multiplication. Okay. So these are the three strategies which we will use. The reason of having so many videos on just this simple topic of division of fraction is also that we have to deal with these three strategies. In this particular video, I will show you all the three strategies. But in the coming videos, we will see which strategy to use when and then apply them. So let's use the area model strategy to divide 2 by 1 over 3. So 2 means 2 holes, right? So let me make 2 rectangles. So I'm making small ones here since we need a lot of space to show all the three strategies. So these are 2 small rectangles. That is for 2. And for one third also, I'll make similar size rectangle. That is one rectangle which will represent one third. Now when we have one third it means we have to divide this into three equal parts and select one of them right so let me select this one they are all equal okay so this is one third so what we are trying to do here is we have two holes these are my two holes and we are dividing by one third. One question which we will be always asking is that we need to find this is one third. How many one thirds can fit into two, right? So, so the question here is how many one over three can fit in 2 right so that is the question and the answer is the solution now we can see to find it we should divide these also in one third right these also in one third and now we can see how many so let's count how many you can see this one third can fit at one place two place three place four five and six so one third can fit into six places, right? Six times in two. Therefore, two divided by one third is six. You get an idea. So how many one thirds can fit into two? Six one thirds. So the answer is six. Six one thirds can fit in two. And therefore, two divided by one third is six. Now let me use the common denominator strategy. To solve the same question. Now we are dividing 2 by 1 third. Denominator here is 1, correct? To make common denominator, we have to multiply 2 by 3 and 1 by 3. So what we get here is, we get 2 times 3 is 6, right? 6 divided by 3 divided by 1 divided by 3, right? So we are dividing these two fractions. They have the same denominator and so we can divide numerators 6 divided by 1 is 6 and that is the result right so that is how we can do it now I would like you to do both these strategies for 3 divided by 1 over 4 right let me show you the third strategy which is reciprocal multiplication now we have 2 divided by 
1 over 3. What is reciprocal of 1 over 3? We could write this as 2 times reciprocal of 1 over 3 is 3. We could write this as 2 times 3 and again we get the answer as 6. Do you see that? Since we know reciprocal of 1 over 3 is 3. Do you see that? So we have used three strategies to find division or solution to division of fractions. So quickly let us do for this again. Now here are three solutions. I hope you have understood the process. So what we will do here is we'll make three whole right these are my three holes one two and three and we have to check how many one fourths so we'll have one for one fourths also and the question here is how many one fourths so let me divide this into four equal parts and shade one of them so we'll shade let's say this one okay this is this one okay so the question is how many one fourths can fit into three so to find the answer it's a good idea to divide them into fourths right and then check rather count so we have four for eight and for twelve and therefore the answer is twelve correct the technique for common denominator we could write this as three divide by 1 over 4 we can have common denominator of 4 that is to say 12 over 4 divided by 1 over 4 12 divided by 1 is 12 so that is the second strategy the third one is the reciprocal so we can write 3 divided by 1 over 4 as 3 times 4 and get the answer of 12 so these three strategies all give you the same result you can apply any sometimes in the question it will be mentioned you have to apply this particular strategy i hope this video explains you the basic concept i'm anil kumar you can share and subscribe my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best